10 seconds. We're going to throw Mike, but he hit it too, and duck. Never know. This is CBS. You can bet on that. And you know, they live in a pigsty, but can afford to snort gourmet milkshakes. We'll tell you their secret after this. Fumble on the play, and Buffalo recovered the ball. The whistle occurred after the recovery. It was a 15-yard penalty for 88 piling on. The disqualification files offset. I knew he was going to get caught in the middle of that. I knew he was going to get caught. <laughs> I knew he was going to get caught in the middle of that. He just kept talking and backing up. They were giving him the rap sign. They couldn't get him done time. Heavy showers then moving through the southern part of the state. We're going to uh, check our computer for just a minute. Be right back. Uh, the showers are all over the place this evening. Looks like uh, we could see some heavy showers by later tonight. We're going to give this another shot, see if we can get the computer going here. The magic of television. I come right back through the wall and uh, lost my cable. Come on with me. There we go, folks. Excuse me. We had to do that because with the computer not working, we can't show you a darn thing. Let's show you again what's happening on the national satellite. They tell me by showtime, the temperature will be down to 95. And plus, they've got the ice on the stage and the fans behind them. So they're going to be blowing the symphony players and keeping them cool. Cheryl? Cindy, Marilyn McCoo is the performer tonight, right? Yes, Marilyn McCoo. The crowd seems to be excited about her. Well, tomorrow is your last chance to register to vote in the presidential elections, November 8th. Registration closes at 9 o'clock tomorrow night. Until that time, you can register at any public library, the Board of Erection elections, any post office, and at some fast food restaurants. You can't vote if you're not registered. Thanks, Mike. In health news tonight, a good reason to have your home tested for radon gas. And a new way to determine if you will have strong bones later on in life. Andrew Camburn explains in tonight's Health Source Report. Okay. Right. Apparently we don't There's have the Health Source Report. Some technical problems there. We'll be back we'll be right back after this. Just, yeah. All right. And I've got some information on the MVPs. It's Mark Lemke of the International League, Scott Coolbaugh of the American Association. For today, we've got 50s here as that cold front moved off to the east. Not much cold air behind it. That's been a big plus going into the weekend. And, uh, ooh, this is Halloween kind of stuff. I kind of like that effect. I didn't do that, by the way. 50s across the area. And Denny, if I had a card to rate you today, Hey, I don't know what I'd say. Let's take a look at what we've got this noon forecast-wise. That was really clever. You know, I like being surprised. Unlucky enough to be living in the hurricane ravaged south right now. The lucky people tonight are getting some help from the Red Cross. Central Ohio volunteers have already answered 200 calls. And as Marcy Fleischer reports, reinforcements now are coming in to keep that information flowing. From 10TV Eyewitness News, this is Newsbreak. Hello, I'm Bob Orr. And I'm Carol Costello at 11, latest in the... See, that doesn't make sense. This is Newsbreak. Hello, I'm Bob Orr. And I'm Carol Costello. At a late... <laughs> this is Newsbreak. Hello, I'm Bob Orr. <laughs> uh, listen. I'm sorry, I swear. This is Newsbreak. Hello, I'm Bob Orr. And I'm Carol Costello. At a late... <laughs> At a latest... At a latest night, the very 11. <laughs> I, I combined those two words. From 10TV Eyewitness News, this is Newsbreak. I can't do this. She finally got me. She, that's never happened to me before, but that time she got me. In sports, she's grabbed me down here. Live from Columbus, 10 TV Eyewitness News, your 24 hour news source. This just in. Give me the, give me the strip. We'll get to the headlines here, folks. John Clifton will be spending two to 15 years in jail. He pled guilty today to three counts of illegal use of a minor in nudity-oriented material. This is your 24-hour news source. Live from Columbus, 10 TV Eyewitness News, your 24-hour news source. Isn't that weird? In down in Miami, the very strange weather down there. They got three inches of rain yesterday, four inches today, and they're having a giant toad problem now. Now these big toads are about yo big, weigh about a pound, and they're in their burrows now, but they're getting flooded out because of all the rain. They're coming out onto the highways. 
causing accidents, traffic jams, giant toads in Miami. I'm telling you folks, don't go down there. Watch it's out for those toads. Huh? Giant. I don't think we're going to have to worry about that, but <laughs> one pound toads about this big. Can you believe it? I cannot imagine it. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Glenn. Well, it looks like it'll be a great day tomorrow for afternoon baseball. The Yankees are coming to town. Mike Gleason has the details. What in the world do toads have to do with weather? <laughs> we'll be back after this. Here's your forecast for tonight. A little bit warmer. We've been creeping up the last few nights. A few clouds, warmer. It was a warm one out at the fair tonight. Low temperature about 70 degrees. Tomorrow, we're looking for a high temperature. Uh, Syracuse lost to the Clippers 10 to 4. I just thought I'd throw that in out at the State Fair. I never get a chance to say that. They came from behind in that one, by the way, folks. A few clouds, warmer. We're looking for a low about 70 degrees. Now, if you didn't catch it before, the Clippers did beat Syracuse. There we go again. <laughs> See if we can come up with something after that. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 80s overnight lows in the 50s and 60s. And in case you missed it, we could check that Clipper score. Again. Live from Columbus, 10 TV Eyewitness News, your 24-hour news source. Hello, everybody. I'm Carol Costello. And I'm Bob Orr. 21, California, nothing. Bo Jackson starts his... Well, that's not Bo Jackson, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That is, a, that is an ugly-looking pig. <laughs> at the Iowa State Fair. And we don't know exactly where that came from, but if Bo Jackson's <laughs> out there listening right now, Bo, you are not a pig. Hello. Bo Jackson starts his rehab this weekend. The Chicago White Sox are sending Bo to their Class A farm team, and that is Sarasota. If Good morning, everybody, and thanks for waking up with us. We'll get to those stories in just a second, but first, Glenn Moray is in for Tom Soros to look at our weather. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Good. You're breast dressed nice and uh -huh. pretty for the sunshine that we're going to have today. Uh -huh. It's 825, and this is Eyewitness News. Good morning. I'm Denise Wasing. Carol Looper is off today. Uh, some good news. So, uh, Carol Looper is off today. We have rainstorms made. I'm sorry. Some overnight rainstorms may mean a change in the weather. Bob Grossi will have that in a moment. We hear a lot about the issues in next month's election, but tonight at 7 o'clock, it is the candidates. Here's Dave Kaler. Well, Lou, in this particular case tonight at 7 o'clock, it's two mayoral candidates, Independent Charles Ross and Democrat Michael Dorian. It's an old issue of several years ago, and it was brought up today in Ross's own backyard. It's the old charge and counter charge and defense speeches, and Sharon Cornegie will have that story for us tonight at 7. And I think at that time there was something in the lake. Wasn't there? Come and listen a bad to my story about a man named Jeff. Oh, that's it. Nice. Yeah. It's the We're fish they ate up there. That's why they like family fish. fed. Do you like going? to hear the rest of it? Yeah. More, okay. more. I want to hear it the chorus right here. I want to hear it on key, though. <laughs> Boy, do it on key. Right. And then one day he was hunting for some food. Right. Went up from the ground, came a bubbling crew. <laughs> Oil, that is. <laughs> Texas tea. Texas tea. <laughs> yeah. You all come back now, right? Is that what they say? People you can count on. <laughs> Good night from my witnesses. Have a, have a have great, great weekend. weekend. Yeah. Oh. Well, I guess, I guess we don't have that one ready, do we, huh? All right, okay. Well, I'll tell you what we'll have to do. We'll have to go to the forecast here, or perhaps back to Lou while we iron out the problems with the computer. Go give it a couple of kicks, Joe. Okay. In the time those commercials were running, Joe Holbrook had a long, serious talk with his computer, and I think it's ready to work for him tonight, Joe. Oh, uh, no, I didn't, Lou. I kicked it. So just as you said, <laughs> that's right. That took the easy way out. Anyway, speaking of rough, I got to mention Joe's giving the computer a bum <clears> rap. <throat> How dare he kick it? That computer's given me nothing but fine service. Yeah, and, right. Uh, we ought to have some behind the scenes <laughs> tape of you in that computer. I hope you kicked it. it for me too, Joe. Right. <laughs> USA's. Okay, Gary Radnich with tonight's sports. Dave, can I do yes. one unconventional thing here? At the one top? unconventional just thing. Just to show it. you what this man does to bring you the news. It's like an oven in here. <laughs> what Wait is this? I had this? nothing to do with that. All right, Dave has to sit out here so you can see the news with a fan on. It's that hot, yet because he wants to give you what's going on in central Ohio. Decrease the humidity, right? You're a professional. I don't say yeah, that right. often. Okay, <laughs> where are we going here? Yeah, I'll put, put your mic, mic on, on so we can, right. it fell. What, what happened? Well, did you want to see the fan or have my mic on? We can't, you can't have everything on this program. Okay, here we go. This news, a brand new twist in the old story of man's best friend. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to butt in. Ricky's so silly. Now, don't be so now, silly. He's so strong. Okay, I noticed that. <laughs> okay, now, let's try this again. Ricky, I love you too, but. Quit now. Ah! Now you go. Yeah, he's gonna start nipping. Now quit it. Don't you bite. That's it. Now quit it. No biting. No biting. 
Okay. Yes, come on. No, no. Perk. Come on. Does he know that word? Oh, no, yes, he knows. Okay. That word. Good boy. Good boy. No. Okay. No. Up here. Up here. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Are we doing something now? Okay. Okay. Kirky, it's okay. I'm Janet Watkins, and coming up on Eyewitness News, a brand new twist in the old story of man's best friend. <laughs> you are something else, you know that? Now, calm down just a little bit. Hey, come on. You're being silly. Why don't you get back in there, Dad, and keep you from... <laughs> okay, you're just being silly. You're being silly. You know that? I'm Janet Watkins. <laughs> Turn around here. I'm Janet Watkins, and coming up on Eyewitness News, a brand new twist in the old story of man's best friend. <laughs> Perky, quit it. Just oh my God! That. <laughs> 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 that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> Lost one, Jack. Hey, that's okay. One coat pocket. Wow! <laughs> Holy moly! Look at my coat. <laughs> Um, is on his way back to Columbus tonight. Mark Huffman has been picked up by federal marshals in Australia, and he should be arriving at Port Columbus sometime in the next day or two. Time for Mike Gaines. Time for Mike Gaines in sports right now? Yes? Makes sense to me. No, okay. All right, let's talk a little bit more about dogs. So you love your dog. Say hi to Ian for me. We've played together before. Lou, can I, a quick thing. He said something about yeah. what kind of goalie is Lou? Uh, Lou's very enthusiastic. Uh, is he any good? He has trouble catching a cold, let alone the ball. <laughs> Sorry, Lou, that's Ian. I don't agree with him. Yes, right. <laughs> Say the Akron Police Department needs to identify a 5'10 male with blonde hair and blue eyes with a tattoo on his leg. That information is put into the computer, and all the blonde-haired, blue-eyed guys with a tattoo on their leg... <laughs> Here is a 10 TV world premiere video, The Ballad of Big Bad Keith. Okay, now, you, can we pull up the tape? Because we don't want to destroy these guys' music careers here. We had just obviously a little mistake, and uh, I'd buy that record, but I'd also buy this one coming up, Big Bad Keith, in the machine shop, maybe. Who knows? It's the wrong tape, too. Try it one more time. That was the Columbus Capitol. Little by little, Lou. Uh, I don't have to leave here till 9 o'clock today. You don't have that tape? No. Okay. We're going to be busy tonight. Yeah, we're going I to I was the, looking uh, over. Oh, we were going. <laughs> <laughs> Circle Bill Pumpkin Show, and we're both going to be in the same car. Carrie uh, Ross, with too. Carrie Ross. I can't wait. I don't know how the two of us are going to fit in the back seat. Well, I'll tell you. Well, if worse comes to worse, you can tie me on the front of the hood and just... <laughs> <like a> deer. <laughs> I wounded most. <laughs> Thank you, Dom, I think. Bob, we're looking at the spot right there. Where exactly were you? What were you doing when the ball hit on your patio? Hello, Bob. I'm getting a different sound. I don't hear. Okay. <laughs> Bob might Talking be listening to another sales? channel. Bob, are you, are you here with us on channel 10 WBNS? Hello, Bob Rankin. Here we go. This is what you call live television, in folks. And Mr. Rankin is coming in. Bob was uh, listening to old reruns of I Love Lucy. Here's Dave Kaler in the Eyewitness Newsroom. Bob? Here's Gary Radnich now, just in time, well, without his microphone, so don't say a word until you put your microphone on, Gary. Well, I was supposed to teach off. you that in Sportscasters Broadcasting School. Well, I know the truth. My yeah. microphone uh, fell off. Fell off. Okay. okay. Anyway, use Here. another one. And I'll tell you why, Louis. I just had a cup of noodles for lunch. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Roy, we weren't quite done. <laughs> <laughs> Roy is uh, going on vacation, you may have noticed. <laughs> I can't believe it. Roy, four. <laughs> There's a lot more coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 6 and at 7. First is 6, allegations of welfare fraud by a city employee. Sharon Cornegay will have a report for us. Indiana 128, San Antonio 117. And, Lou, I hope you have something good to say when you cut my time like that. We didn't know. Nobody no, no, cut your time. I they just told me, you're doing, you're, doing, you're doing fine on time, and you realize now I, did, I was not turning on you. 
I know that. I know no, you right. wouldn't. I know you wouldn't. Happy <laughs> couple. Here we'd get married, but somebody else beat it to us on another channel. All right. <laughs> no, Watch these right. pictures right here. $20,000 each time, Are you 100 in times a year. <laughs> no, not quite. <laughs> I love to ride horses, but not, I don't, you know, I bounce a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. <laughs> Makes for sore muscles the next day. Okay. Merry Christmas! <laughs> How you doing? Well, hey, man, we all TV. I love you, buddy. You're cute. I'm done. We'll be back in a moment. And that moment's up, so the agriculture department... Do written commitments no longer carry any honor in the coaching profession? Coach Hayes. When that baby comes, it'll certainly be a good one. I mean, of all the people in town to knock, uh, Woody Hayes, you don't mess with. Coach Hayes... That was no pun intended. We'll have the Woody Hayes for you later. Oh, of all the people to knock, and I'm just new here. Oh, all right. Now, this is where the problem usually starts. Maybe you've been to the grocery store, and you have an armload of groceries, or maybe you've been shopping, and you have the groceries, and you have the kid in one in the other hand, and then all of a sudden, you're finding yourself, you're running behind schedule, so you just put the... Cur okay. Now, this is where the problem usually starts, in the parking lot of a shopping mall. This is where the problem usually starts, in the... This is where the problem usually starts in the sh Tell me when. Go. <laughs> that one we will. We will send that one to Dick Clark. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. Where am I going to get my shoe now? Oh, That's a classic. I'll have a rival report next on Eyewitness News. Now, this is where the problem usually starts, in the parking lot of a shopping mall. I'm Judy Eulis. We'll have some cake and sing happy birthday. Eyewitness Noon at News is next. Now, when you walk through this exhibit, you're going to see a lot of native plants and, of course, the rain. You can hear that behind me. But you're also going to see a lot of live... Ah! <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I'm That's so right. sorry. This it's is okay. washable, believe um, me. Uh, get, can we use some towels? Oh, <laughs> That's all right. I'm sorry. It's washable. Let I, me, let I me was tell only you. joking when I said it would happen. <laughs> He likes you. JC, you want to get me doing this since I'm going to put my life in danger? Here we go. I'm giving up the microphone now, Penny and Roy, so I won't be able to talk to you because this is going to be really difficult. I don't remember, folks. You saw it right here. I don't believe that, Carrie. Well, Carrie can't hear me, of course. Thank you very much. This is where the problem usually starts, in the parking lot of a shopping mall. Maybe you've just come out of the grocery store, and you have your arm filled with groceries, and the other arm is with the kid. <laughs> yeah, do it again. I don't know where we're going. Forceful statement from our commander-in-chief. True, Dan. <laughs> Okay, let's pause. If you heard that buzz there, they said somebody's, somebody's mic is dead. Somebody's mic. Who's is, is it? Is it mine? Yeah, sure. It is mine? Okay, I'll keep talking. Okay, Reporter Gary Goodmanson is at the State House live right now to tell us what they're after and why. Gary? Before I let you start, Tom, I have to make a correction. We said a minute ago that aspirin-like drugs may be just as much a threat as other drugs in treating arthritis. We meant to say this study showed that they may be just as good as expensive drugs, and the person who wrote this script is even now, as we speak, being fired. Or taking some aspirin. <laughs> <laughs> or taking an aspirin or whatever. Jerry Revish has one of them for us in the 7 o'clock edition of Eyewitness News tonight. Jerry? Well, Dave, the state will start looking at what drivers are seeing and an accident over five years ago spurred the start of the state to require eye tests. We'll have a report. Sorry I didn't have a mic on. Speaking of the Friday the 13th, how about triskaidekaphobia? 
Does that bother you? Yes, it does. And I will not cross a black cat's trail. I'm scared Wait of heights. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The black cat, cat is supposed to cross yours. Oh, no, 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 no. I always heard that if you cross a black cat's trail, it's bad luck. It, is your mic on? I'm sorry. It's, uh, it's a little easier Friday with a microphone. The Ladies no. and gentlemen, <laughs> uh, in case, I'm sure you heard me about triskaidekaphobia. Uh -huh. Now, what were you saying? I have it. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> we have some gremlins in the technical equipment back there trying to straight that out. Dropping down 10 to 0 tonight. Watch it. Those high winds could blow your uh, high profile vehicle around a little bit. I'm afraid to drive home after I saw that car up in the corner of your map. <laughs> the little flip there, didn't it? <laughs> Doesn't this usually happen in the wintertime? Yes, it, yes does. it does. It's not unusual. You're right, Roy. I thought it did. I've <laughs> been around here a couple of years. <laughs> John Damschroder reports it has nothing to do with football. We'll get to John's story in just a moment. The kill Whoa, there went another light bulb over there. Rescuers worked through the night in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. We should mention that that was a light that blew in the studio here. Now we've got our microphones and we can talk to you. I didn't say a word. Not a word. <laughs> when it comes to health on the job, women who work seem to have the edge over those who don't. If you're wondering why I had that funny look on my face, I saw seven of you in the monitor. <laughs> oh, I, I couldn't see it. Yes. How did I look in sevens? <laughs> but on the serious side... This is where the problem usually starts, in the parking lot of a shopping mall. Maybe you've been over to the grocery store and you have your arms full of groceries and you have the child in the other hand. You look down at your watch, you're running behind times. So all of a sudden you just throw the garbage in. <laughs> Oh, boy. I was thinking, Dom, that if the sales win, you'll do a rendition of the fight song for us. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I remember it, but I'll tell you what, if they win, I will uh, try to remember it. And at 7, if they win, I'll sing the fight song. Okay, we've got it on tape, Dom. All right. One more time. Hey, look, it's over. Don't pass us by. We are the stallions of the sales high. We wear the colors purple and white. You name the time and the place, and we'll be there to fight, fight. Hey, look us over, don't pass us by. Be -de 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 of the sales high. We're the best in every way, and this you can't deny. We're the stallions, de sales high. One more time, Jim, for everyone, no? Look us over, don't pass us by. <laughs> and Joe Rahal Holbrook ready to put the metal to the pedal when Eyewitness News continues. Barry, I can't help but wonder, are Joe and uh, Barry wearing tap shoes? You put the metal to the pedal? I know. I, I, really, I really messed up, Roy. I haven't taken my CB talking class lately, <laughs> and uh, I sort of got that backwards. It's pedal to the metal, right? My land, that shirt, it's either a test pattern or you look like Paul Bunyan's son. I don't know which. You like that? We can play checkers on it yeah, after yeah, I yeah. do my fishing <laughs> report. You don't like this? I didn't say I didn't like it. I just... Go ahead, Dom. You only do this with diseases. You're either pregnant or you're not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you're right. You either are or you're not. Dollars. <laughs> The way it looks there for a while, you could be going anywhere. Indianapolis, Wheeling, you know, Lexington, Kentucky, Detroit, like Michigan. I feel like I'm in a beehive, Dave. I feel like I'm in a beehive. <laughs> Car number 86 with, uh, let's see here, I've lost some of my scripts here. <laughs> Car number 86. Well, I'm sorry, I've lost the last page of my scripts. We'll have to get back to that later tonight with the other guys. <laughs> Excuse me, this has been quite a morning back from vacation. <laughs> anyway. Are you, are you back yet? Yes, I, well, physically. What do I have okay. behind me here? I don't know how that got there. He's I don't know what we got going on you're here. You're part of the rush hour traffic. Now. I don't know. <laughs> I live up somewhere here. I... <laughs> Carrie, I can't help but wonder, are you Pennsylvania Dutch? Am I what? <laughs> you asked Barry if he was going to run your toes over. I Isn't it run over your toes? Oh, yeah, run over my toes. What did I say? Run your toes over. <laughs> oh. You're going to get in one of those? I think I'm going to have an English grammar lesson when I get back to the station, <laughs> it sounds like, right now. Here's Dom Tiberi with sports. You like these threads? We kind of match a little bit. You know what my problem is? I'm a guy trying to live in a fast lane with a Kmart charge card. It just doesn't make it. Just doesn't make it. <laughs> Break dancing dangers at 11. What a wonderful scene.
a family together. Terrific mom, wonderful dad, and those wonderful crumb crushes of theirs, Muffy and Buffy, Chipper and Skipper. All that's missing is the family pet mucus. I'm sorry. <laughs> For us to go to an I-70 truck stop. Well, let me show you what happened. Uh, on the way out, we had a flat tire, oh. and uh, that really did make our truck stop. It fell right apart there. Absolutely. So this is our I-70 truck stop. You know, Cheryl, I had some problems with those wasps, uh, with those wasps uh, myself. The Bears will score first, but the Patriots will win. And I know that Monday... Now, wait a minute. Good grief. This is my first prediction, and I'm going to win it, hopefully. You're going to stick by it. Yeah. Well, I don't want the Bears to win, but if they do, they probably will. But if they do, then that'll be the score. If the Patriots win, then they will. Hey, there's a beautiful moon in the background there, 62 and 83. That isn't rain, by the way. That's a fountain. That's got to be a fountain. That's not the moon. That's an electric light. How about that? 62 and 83, 54 and 77, and it isn't raining either. Uh, 38 to go. After all, it's a quarter of 12. We're not even awake here, are we? If you're going to catch an occasional one up there, uh, they've got to relax after the spawning session. So if you're fishing up there in the northwest and you don't catch anything, don't worry because they're just resting after their spawning session. Yeah, they're right? just resting, Dave. Okay. Everybody rests after... I don't know if they're their... smoking cigarettes, but they're resting. <laughs> it seems a mouse was napping in the heater vent of Walter Miller's car when it got too hot. At that point, the mouse jumped out of the vent and ran up the inside of Miller's coat. Miller tried to grab the moose while driving, but it, the mouse, not the moose, I'm getting my moose stories mixed up. The mouse... Did you hear Tom talking about temperatures dropping? I can't there's understand no, there's that. No sense in there's that. no reason for it. No, Give we'll him a whipping when we get out of here. No, no, we'll just <laughs> have words with him, that's all. Oh, okay. In the meantime. We don't believe in physical abuse at Channel 10. Okay. <laughs> well, Dom Tiberi is awful also, <laughs> excuse me, Dom Tiberi is also off tonight. When we come back, Carrie tells us about a USO, or USO, an OSU football player. Well, Stu Nicholson is in Whitehall with the man who can answer those questions, heating contractor Ed Rickles. Stu? Thanks, Dave. Uh, we are here in Whitehall, as you said, and we're with uh, Ed Rickles. They're to cook for more people than you would ever dream of. They can make for as few as two and as many as 2,000 out of this very kitchen. And unlike... <laughs> it's our worst fear realized here. <laughs> you know, there are some students who want to take the program, but they really <laughs> don't know how to ride. No problem. <laughs> All right. While most students agree there has been a shift. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> while most students agree there has been a shift from partying to <laughs> I, for some reason I want to do two steps at once. Man hasn't ever been back here too much to bother <laughs> much of nature. <laughs> Well, it's really nice to join you inside. We were glad to have you all the times that we had you outside. That was neat. That's, that's great. Except there is one problem. What's that, Joe? You're sitting on my barometer. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. Just kidding, folks. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Some whipping cream over here. I'm nuts and cherries. <laughs> Do you know who did that? I'm not even going to say who did that. Well, most students agree there has been a shift from academics. <laughs> now I can't talk. We will also hear about a plan to pay for tomorrow's college education today. Sorry. Eyewitness News at 7 is up next. For many, many years, I've been telling you how much I'd love to play the game of golf. But the one thing I've never been able to understand is why people will come out in 90 degree temperatures and 110 degree humidity and walk around the golf course watching people play the game. Today, I found out it's a, it's a weight-losing proposition. Hell, I heard you, Joe. Roy Pre <laughs> but I took care of that one. I think the bet was it was looking for, for food, because I've never seen a black bear, you know, loving, right? A lovingly well, black bear. How do you think they have baby they're black bears? No, but they're dangerous. They never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, OK. You, you just walked me right into Chalk that one. Chalk one for Dana. When you talk about fresh seafood, you have to talk about lobsters. These lobsters are fresh. When you talk about fresh seafood, you can't forget lobsters. The lobsters are flown in fresh, 
They're kept fresh in the tank here, and they're shipped out to the restaurants live. So that means they're fresh when they get to the restaurant. Ah, dang, you slipped out. That was my fault. When you talk about fresh seafood, you can't forget about lobsters. They're flown in fresh here, and they're kept fresh in this tank, and he's slipping again. This turtle now, wait just a minute. It's on, on my foot. It's on Mars Road. <laughs> Here, it's I'm already sorry. On November 13th, 14th, and 15th. If you want your pet's picture taken with Santa Claus on Morris Road, sponsored by the Humane Society. That wasn't my turtle. That was your turtle. Foot. All the proceeds go to the Humane Society, and I'll fix your foot up. Well, I don't know if I will or not. <laughs> okay. We'll be right back. I'm going to clean my foot off. <laughs> Can we stop a second? Pictures, pictures, Ron. <laughs> Oh, God, he's stuck in there. <laughs> God! <laughs> oh, the poor thing, I think he got suffocated. <laughs> suffocated? <laughs> now, someone said, what the heck is a uh, saw guy? Of course, it's a cross between a walleye and a sauger. Be kind of like if you crossed a kangaroo with a sheep, you would have a sweater with a pocket already in it. It's pretty bad, isn't it? Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, thanks for visiting. Me. Appreciate Thank it. Bringing Great. cute cats. <laughs> Live in the heart of Ohio. There goes our cat. <laughs> we'll be back in just a moment. Come here, cat. We'll be back in just a moment. Stay with us. Cat. Come here. Cat. When you talk about fresh seafood, you can't forget lobsters. These lobsters are flown in fresh. They're kept fresh here in the tank, and they're shipped out live. Porter Brad Ritter is, is, was there and joins us live now from SkyCam to tell us what the governor said. Joy and Rudy, the uh, Judy and Cuffroy, that is. We'll be live from the preparations for Columbus Red, White, and Boom celebration. Dave Stanton will be live <laughs> from one of the best spots you'll ever find to watch the fireworks and festivity. We'll show you the dedications. <laughs> Pardon me. You know, there are some students who don't know how to ride, <laughs> but they teach them how here. <laughs> Almost okay. there. Okay. That was pretty close, huh? We'll try to bring some of them back to you, Joe, just like you bring us popcorn back every time you Ooh. come from Clipper Stadium. Okay. Oh, no. Here comes a train. <laughs> We're hearing train go. bells. Let's we got to move over the Hold cables here because the cables. Of our train. cables are on the track. So excuse us. Hi, I'm Dave Kaler. Is the <laughs> Easter Bunny coming to your house? <laughs> What a way to start the Ohio State Fair, Joe. This is great weather. That humidity is gone. Those hot, hot temperatures are gone. Hi, sir. Excuse us. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we'll be, coming up next in sports at the uh, Columbus Bowling Palace. So hang on to your seats. We'll be right back. Oh, okay. Well, I guess uh, when you're over here watching the bowling tournament, uh, you missed the commercial break, guys. I'm sorry. We're in the sports. Well, let's go with it. Good evening. The thing about this sport is that you can get into it for not very much money. $200 or less can get you started. <laughs> All through southern Ohio, the swollen Scioto River and creeks like the PP are giving... <laughs> Good evening. From our house to your house, Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> He's confident the Burger Bus idea will catch on and is already talking about the possibility of getting more of them on the road. Those stories and a lot more tonight. In just about 35 minutes from now, we'll see you then. Lost my mind. Cincinnati involved in another one of their... The microphone falls off. Thank you. All right. Oh, ho, ho. They have cleared the houses on either side, as you, you are seeing now some of the pictures that we can't show you because it's gotten dark. What did she say? Forgive me, Penny, but I'd like to hear that again. Let's watch and, uh, and listen. They have cleared the houses on either side, as you, you are seeing now some of the pictures that we can't show you because it's gotten dark. It's about three till three till six, seven, it's early. <laughs> Time for Bob and the weather, Bob. Well, actually, we're, we're about 18 minutes before seven o'clock, but that's all right, it's, it's early. We've got Henry LeCount going against Steve Denton. Uh, LeCount, of course, the number five seed, taking on Denton, who's the number one seed. Denton serving the ball, and he really can uh, fire that ball up there. He is in the near court. Uh, 
we uh, are asking being we've got to tone it down a little bit. Now, J.R. Kirk isn't the only fella to take up darts, and concessionaires here at the fair say there are a lot more winners this year. But as you can see, <laughs> I want to say one other thing, Gary. Well, all right. We checked, and George is not uh, on anabolic steroids. He's <laughs> Hey, doctor, yeah. I'll do the jokes, all right? Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, the other thing is... No, no, doc, this is a half-hour show. You want to do a situation comedy? I know, comedy, but he's but... really... He told me he's upset because next year he's a free agent. And he might affect his contract. A live uh, rapid cam. I think it's uh, Sharon Cornegay. There she is. I see her in the monitor. They'll hold you still in just a minute, Sharon. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. And I think you're out at the home of... Uh, uh, the mayor, uh, the candidate for mayor, Democratic uh, candidate for mayor, Sharon Cornegay. Yes, and that's Mike right. Dorian. That's right, Dave. A train full of dangerous chemicals derains in Crestville. 200 people are evacuated, and yet it could have been worse. Oh, rain, rail. <laughs> it is Crestline. That's, that's, that's what I was saying, too. Ah! Here's Dave Kaler. Well, at the Columbus City Council meeting late this afternoon, the police investigation of the flashing badge and tell us about them survey is supposed to be revealed and you'll recall that some folks really didn't like that last week and we'll find out what that investigation says at seven okay and dave promises to wear a mic at seven o'clock <laughs> Okay, Dave. Once again, Dave will try to remember his microphone. What we didn't tell you was that was Dom Tiberi. Yeah, hey, thanks a lot. Put me right on the spot. I own three suits. <laughs> three suits. And my uncle got too fat to wear one. That's why I had one. <laughs> okay, all set. All righty. Here we go. Hold the rope. Try to keep it smooth. Oh, God. Oh, God. But females aren't the only gender on this legislative operating table. Under the bill, welfare mothers will have to name the father. Then he has four choices. One, he can pay child support. Two, he can work community service. Three, he can go to jail for two years. Or he can have a vasectomy and get paid $1,000. Before the, uh, before midweek. Excellent, excellent. Wonderful. Good to and, hear. and coming up at hey, 6 o'clock, Dave and Andrea, what we're going to do is introduce you to some people from Ohio who are right here in uh, uh, this little town of St. Genevieve helping to keep this Mississippi Whoa, River from flooding anymore. Out. That's right. I've got a preacher from Tallahassee who's got some family in Columbus. Her name is Lenora Coggins. Mm -hmm. So if the Lenora Coggins relatives are listening to our broadcast, punch us up at 6 o'clock and you'll see. <laughs> what was let's check, let's check in with Mike Davis in the forecast. Michael. What were you doing? They were in my picture. <laughs> no, I think you I were stepped in into the picture and I was there. I was ready to go. Yeah, I tell I you see. what. All right, now joining us live from the newsroom is the starting quarterback for the Ohio State Buckeyes, Bob Hoing. Bob, first of all, uh, I'd uh, like to say congratulations. Uh, there you are over here. Congratulations on the big win, Bob. Mike Davis now here with the complete forecast. Mike, pretty good day out there today. Some clouds and some snow, but after all, it is March 1st. Huh? That's right. It, uh, it's looked better at times, and the Whoa. map behind me has looked better at times, too, because uh, basically today we didn't see any weather out there at all. I don't know if you folks can see it, but I can't at the moment. Maybe if I go out of the way, we can get the map to come up. What do we think? How about that? It's just like magic, isn't it? I'm map repellent today. What can we say? Mike Davis joins us now with weather, and I don't know about you, but I'm having a hard time believing it's actually March already. Me too. Me too. March Madness. Holy <laughs> smokes! <laughs> Somebody just We're ran being into us. There, there being an attack. attacked. There. Don't adjust your TV. No earthquakes. <laughs> we actually got hit. About 1.2 in uh, the Richter scale. There. That's, that's all right. Um, <laughs> that's, incoming. That's, somebody didn't like the forecast. Whoa. Some rumblings about tomorrow, especially in the eastern part of the state, where you could get hit even harder than that. Let's see. Yeah. It's from 10 TV Eyewitness News, your 24-hour news source. Good morning, everyone. I'm Kathy Fowler. No one won last night's Ohio Super Lottery. So for Wednesday, the jackpot is $15 million. And more news coming away in an hour. This is your 24-hour news source. Booze and boats don't mix. Boat safe. Boat sober. And Arnold Schwarzenegger was at the game. Until next Friday, this is Warner Wolf. He, he's standing right can, over there, you know. He's going to come and get you now, Warner. Can, can your fiancé take a joke? That's all. White Castles suck at 11. They turn the lights off. You can't. What are they doing? 
looking from the bottom up. Sorry, I know you guys are hungry. I'm trying. <laughs> is that? I don't know. It looks like Darth Vader, but it obviously isn't. Sard. Okay. Well, I never understand the names to... of these things <laughs> anyway. And this one, ready, Bill? That's it. I can't do anymore. I'll be back alone for the last half hour. <laughs> Stay with us, will you? <laughs> Would you give that to somebody? You could shoot me back if well, you want. Maybe. We still have to stretch. I couldn't bullshit about any of it. <laughs> this morning, we thought we'd take you to what could be the wedding to end all weddings. Just an intimate reception for 25000 That's right, Tanya. It happened right here on this corner, right up the street, as you can see where that white car is right now. Two officers, undercover officers, Shepard and Allen, were trying to get two prostitutes to offer themselves to them in order to arrest them. However, it seemed that at the same time, from this house, as you can see, the people here are not very happy. Uh, started uh, James Chandler. Excuse me. Hey, hey, hey. Come. Cut it out. Don't shoot them. It looks like well, it looks like they don't want it looks like they do not want David Duckett in that neighborhood. Any evidence as the defense alleges. <laughs> and on the witness stand. Good morning. Coming up on Eyewitness News, a, shitty, a shooting in North Columbus leaves one man dead. We'll have a live report. Gets a nice chunk of change too. And I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Davis. We'll take a look at the forecast as we're looking at me. Last night when we went to that, that greasy place, how come you didn't partake dinner? I was naked in bed. Head size. Something else to worry about. I'm not sure if I had a big head or a small head when I was born. That's my mom. Five talented photographers show us about living at the end of life. Call 292-0330. <laughs> You know, I don't think my photographer got that. You were what? <laughs> naked in bed. Is this? Hello, everybody. I'm, Dan I'm Bob or Dana Tyler. Has this naked, naked, or is this just kind of? This is naked in bed. It was a choice between chicken and being naked in bed. It's because my breasts are so big, I just can't contain them. They're heaving. Heaving breasts. What is this? Pick black. Stand by, ready, row 14, ready to take a sound, row 14, take a sound. Live from WBNS-TV, your 24-hour news source. With Cameras, Chuck Strickland, camera three I need to cover. Paula Toti, and Kimberly Camera Adams. three I need to cover right now. This is 10 Put TV Eyewitness News. Fuck! God damn, camera four, where's your two shot? Camera, ready three, god damn, take black. Naked, naked, naked. Read my lips, Bob. Now, I want you to take a good look at this Walkman portable tape player. Where is it? It's not here yet. There it is. Now, that doesn't look too dangerous. Does it? You were really... Oh, pretty. there was nothing there. Let me just tell you, the chicken wasn't that good. <laughs> Andrea Camburn has details in tonight's Health Source report. And I'm... Oh, <laughs> I'm Andrea Camburn. Oh, my God. Oops, sorry about okay. that. Uh, we'll try to have that for you a little bit later. This is Bob Moore freezing his ass off in Sandusky County saying, we're out of here, Jack. Let's go. The next tape this is, is uh, Revstood Clay, whatever that means, in 16. Well, 16 sound dissolved, something like that, Barry. Is this it? No. Ready, black, take black. Ready, roll, take 17 sound. I'm roll 17, sound taken. What is this? Ready, black, take black. Is that? What is this? Ready, black, take black. Is that it in 16? Is this it? No. Ready, black, take black. What is this? Ready, black, take black. Is that it in 17? Oh, my God. This is CBS. Newspaper like this. This is a newspaper. This is a newspaper.
This is a newspaper. Oh, yeah. Tom Berman? I witnessed you. I like that, guys. Yeah. Murder, suicide. Identical twins Brad and Chad Horton took their, one of them uh, killed the twin and the other uh, committed suicide. County uh, coroner confirms for us this evening that uh, we do have a murder suicide and we don't know uh, you may have better information uh, uh, coming across the wire uh, given to those Nashville. what's up your face is breaking out and you're hello hey what's up your face is breaking out and you're not a teen we're gonna tell you why more baby boomers are suffering from a common skin condition <laughs> This is speaking from night. We'll have more news in one hour on your 24 hour news source. Upon us and the Columbus Public Health Department. Whoa, lost that earring, so let me take this one off so you're not all confused. Uh, if, <laughs> we would have been, too. Yeah. <laughs> Flu shots will be given. Weather. That lightning was cool, but you look stupid standing in it. <laughs> I, should, I guess I should have uh, <laughs> ducked or something. Thanks, Chris. Marriage, you can imagine, with winds gusting to 144 miles per hour. Sometimes our satellite signal cuts in and out. Danny is back, though. Dan? Thanks, John. The sea behind us is wrecking almost unimaginable havoc with everything up and down the beach. These winds just keep increasing. They just keep coming. Oh, about an hour ago, they were estimated to be gusting. Again, losing our satellite signal, just to inform you of how quickly Hurricane Opal blew up. The bottom line is that there is still so much to do. And what is that? What is to be done? I mean, what are you guys going to do? What the f movement? You know, I, I, don't, I don't know who you are or what the f you're looking for, but, but what is going to happen? And what are you going to do? Move me across the stage. And, 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 We're just going to have an intermission. We'll be right back. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna stay with us. No, we'll deal with the situation. It. No, you're not gonna move you're me also across the stage. I am unhappy. I am completely dissatisfied with this situation. I'm totally unhappy with the way things are moving. Ma'am, we're hey, going. Please, that's all right. No, don't right there. move. My daughter. Is. What? You're stepping on my toes. And I'm, I'm Thanks, moving. I'm in Thanks, Captain. What? You're stepping on my toes. We're gonna have to move now. What? Can I talk to you down downstairs? What? Don't no, don't hurt her. Don't hurt her. Be careful. Be careful. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, here's what we're going to do. Give us about five minutes to deal with this unusual situation. And we'll be right back. Freeze that hit California's citrus crop last week. Oops, let me get that phone. Excuse me for just a second, doing a little news here. The freeze that hit the citrus crop in California last week. One person likes to stay like, like in the shadows, like they wear sunglasses inside. And yes. this, I got the right. my precious. Oh, yes. Is she precious? Don't you love her? I just can't wait to do the show with her. We're doing the show now, aren't we? We are. Shall we go? Let's go. Please. 